11 years ago, the venue behind me hosted the Eurovision Song Contest and saw neighbouring Denmark win with Only Teardrops by Emily de Forest. 11 years later, the contest is back in a very new form, but still with the same levels of excitement and glitz and glamour and everything in between. Velkommen til Eurovision Song Contest 2024. Velkommen til Malmö. With its golden facade and located just beside Malmö Arena, Emporia is one of the biggest shopping centres in Malmö and one of the most popular. Along with all, all the things you can find in a regular shopping centre, restaurants, clothes stores, um, home appliances if you're so interested. Um, something that will definitely interest you is the is the official Eurovision merchandise shop, which you can find in Emporia as well. A warning to your wallet. There's a lot of stuff in there you might like, and it's gonna cost a lot. If people ask you, what is the most iconic building in all of Malmö? They're probably gonna answer, the turning torso. <laughs> This building is, contrary to popular belief, not the tower that Luna built, as this tower was completed in 2005 when Luna was just six years old. It is 190 meters high and is the tallest building in all of Malmö and was the tallest building in both Sweden and the Nordic countries till Gothenburg built another building a few years ago. Damn you, Gothenburg. You may have seen pictures of a weird looking cube structure covered in Eurovision brand ring and wondering where is that? Where is that in Malmö? Well, I am right here beside it and beside something far more important, Malmö Live. Malmö Live is a concert hall in the middle of Malmö and this week is going to be extremely, extremely Eurovision filled. The opening ceremony and the turquoise carpet will take place here, as will all of Euro Club and the grand final screening party on the 11th of May. So if you're in Malmö, there's a good chance you're going to end up here. Normally this street in which I'm now on in Malmö is called Friskatan. But from May 4th onwards until the 12th of May, this will be called Eurovision Street. There will be lots of events happening on this street. And if you go to right to the end of it, you'll find another Eurovision surprise. One of the favorite places for locals to relax and chill out a little is here in Folkets Park or the People's Park. However, there's not going to be a lot of relaxing done here as this is the place where Eurovillage is, right at the end of Eurovision Street itself. Here's where you'll find performances from some of the participants of this year, as well as some special guest performers as well. You can find the full schedule on the Eurovoir website. This is also the venue of the Euro Cafe and, and there will be lots of fun things happening here. So. If you have no plans where to go, if you don't have if you don't have any idea of what to do, come down here and there will be something that you can pass your time with. In 2015, Magnus Carlsen famously said, Mut me jamna stan. Now we're not in Stockholm's old town, but we are in Malmö's old, old town and we are here at its central piece, Stortoyet, or the big square. One of its most famous buildings is Malmö Rådhuset, or Malmö City Hall, as well as the Leonet Pharmacy. And there is also a statue of King Carl X Gustav of Sweden, who was the King of Sweden in the 16th century. And obviously speaking, you can't have Stortorget without Lilla Torget. Lilla Torget is located just around the corner from Stortorget, and as its name suggests, it is the smaller version of the big square. An interesting but nerdy fact about this square is that the 13 degrees meridian east pass right through this square. So it means that this square's solar time is exactly eight, minute behind, eight minutes behind Swedish standard time. Everyone has said it before and it bears repeating again. This year marks the 50th anniversary of ABBA's win at the Eurovision Song Contest 1974 with Waterloo. And to celebrate this fact, everything ABBA has come here to Malmö. ABBA World will open for just two weeks here on Södergatan in the, cent the centre of Malmö. And various ABBA things are reunited in this space right here, such as ABBA World, ABBA Voyage, Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia the Party. Anything ABBA you can think of, it is right in here. So 
get your tickets because it's only in town for two weeks. Eurovision has seen many kings, queens and monarchs over the year and quite fittingly Malmö has its own castle. Malmöhuslott, or just Malmö Castle, is a castle dating from the 15th century. It is the oldest preserved Renaissance castle in not only all of Sweden but in the entire Nordic countries. Today it is not a castle and it's not a jail as it once was in the 19th and 20th century. Today it hosts a museum complex, most notably the Malmö Art Museum. And also in the area is Malmöhuslott Trädsgården, which is a public park public garden full of wonderful plants and flowers that you can just walk around for free. Well, that was just some of what Malmö has to offer. We could tell you more, but we think it's better that you come here and experience it for yourself. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like and share this video, um, follow Your Revoir on all the social medias, and don't forget to listen to the Your Revoir podcast, which will be releasing daily episodes once show week kicks in. But until then, on the bra. Of you see, I see Malmö.